these are my cats, Ralph and Bella, and I'm going to build them a tree house. You see, at my old house, I built them an elaborate catio, or cat patio, to enable them to safely enjoy the great outdoors. There was a climbing wall, which Bella never used, a glass bubble, which both cats never used, and this cool circular platform, which they very rarely used. Despite that, they loved the catio as a whole, and Ralph would even spend entire days out there, only coming in to meow at me for food. But since we've moved, they've been stuck indoors, and it's obvious that they both really want to go outside again. So I want to build them a new catio, complete with a cat-sized treehouse. Now I listed the arguments for letting cats outdoors versus keeping them indoors in the old video, so I won't bore you again, but catios are the perfect middle ground. I also went into great detail on the build of the previous catio, so I won't bore you with that either. In fact, pan down, pan back up, and it's done. It's now four months later. The catio is completely empty except for Bella there, and there's stuff growing all over it, which I think is really cool. But I think it's time to build you a treehouse, eh? Four months earlier, I did film them going outside for the first time, but it was relatively uneventful. Ralph just dawdled on the doorstep for ages, whilst Bella brazenly strutted out like she owned the place. Hello, Bells. Good, so we're all caught up. But you might have noticed that something's missing. Something kind of important when it comes to building a tree house. A tree. Well, I removed a paving slab. Ralph dug a hole. And it was at this point I realised I'd made a terrible mistake. I've made a terrible mistake. See, this is a tree, but the door is ridiculously thin. There is no way that is going to fit. Reluctantly, I had to take the panel off, squeeze the tree through the gap, and then reattach the wooden mesh. I guess you could say I really meshed up, but with a little cement, the tree was in, and whilst Ralph showed some interest, Bella was less than impressed. So it's the next day, and if you look closely, there are cat hairs and even a claw. It looks like someone's been tree climbing overnight. Next up then, the treehouse itself. The plan is to build probably two platforms for the cats to climb between, as well as ramps and platforms around the edge of the catio as a whole, just like in the last one. I learned a lot from that old catio. For instance, as cool as it looked, Bella really didn't like the climbing wall grips, so this time I'll build more gradual steps instead. She's also really getting on, now 14. And although still surprisingly sprightly, I want to future-proof and keep everything accessible for her. Okay, I'm getting bored of my own voice, so here's a montage. So I put the platforms in the tree, these weird puzzle-shaped pieces, although they're not yet fixed down. And I've built these four platforms at the back. Now these three aren't really big enough to sit on, but act as steps to this big curved platform, which Bella's already taken a liking to. Else. I properly secured the tree platforms and decided to then extend the steps around the corner, leading to a high up curvy platform. In the old catio, the highest spot was always their favourite, so this should provide a cool vantage point and sleeping spot. Which brings us to this last corner, and I'm kind of hesitant to do anything with it. I really don't want to rush anything, I mean it's been like five months already and in the future I'm tempted to build some tunnels coming off there, that'd be really cool. So for now I think I'm just going to leave this corner empty. I then replaced a paving slab around the base of the tree and installed a cat flap in the door, as well as a hook to hold the door open. And finally, for the structure at least, the roof. In the old catio I used corrugated roofing, but I really didn't like the way it looked. Obviously the rain will damage the wood over time, particularly these flat sheets of plywood, so I'll have to do something eventually. Whoa, lightning! But for now, I just hung up a waterproof sail. It's not a permanent solution, but again, I don't want to rush anything. I'll see how it goes and adapt accordingly. And finally, finally, finishing touches. So it's finally, finally, finally time to let the cats out. And I am so excited to show it to them. And with that, I hereby declare the catio open. Bella was first out, heading straight to the top. She's definitely the braver of the two cats, keen to sniff every surface and corner of the catio, including the top of the sail. Ralph, however, is way less comfortable with new things, and seemed pretty overwhelmed. I don't want to unnecessarily stress him out, as he's had some health issues lately, but I'm sure he'll find everything in his own time over the next few weeks. For Bella, at least, it was a certified hit. She loved it. She loved the platforms. She loved the tree. She admittedly didn't love the swinging hammock. But most of all, and it's with great joy that I tell you this, Bella loved the bubble dome. It was completely ignored in the old catio, so it's nice to see it given a new lease of life in this one. 
Anyway, I'm sure Ralph will be jumping around the platforms in no time, and I'm sure I'll end up making a million changes. When things get water damaged, or Bella pokes her eye out from aggressively headbutting everything. But for the time being, the cats can safely go outside once more.